All right, we're live trading today. It's 9.34, market's been open for about four minutes. And yeah, we're gonna see if we're taking any trades today, if there's any good setups. I'm gonna go through my watches right now, see if there's anything good. I'm moving through a few different kind of brokers at the moment. Right now I'm using Tradier. We're gonna see if there's any trades to take today on there. But yeah, we're gonna see if there's any good setups, see if we can get something figured out here. Should be a pretty fun day. So right now, as I'm just going through, I'm not really seeing anything that I actually like. Let me go through Tesla, Nvidia. Possibly Nvidia wants to come down towards this demand area. That's so far away though. I don't think we'll even get there. So we are coming up towards this demand area right here. So maybe there'll be opportunity. Let me go ahead and see on the one minute if there's anything there. Okay, so we're bouncing from this demand. Gonna wait and see for a second. Gonna go over here, see if Amazon. Okay, Amazon already made the rotation for my strategy. Shopify, maybe not. Meta actually could be solid. Meta could definitely be good setup. We wanna see it push a little bit higher back above this high. And then, uh, and then get a pullback and then look for a move all the way up to this level up here is my TLM strategy. We'll see if we get that set up. If not, all good. Boeing is kind of just chilling. Boeing has been a huge downtrend. Don't really want to touch this. Let me to come down in this demand. Still don't really want to stay away from it. Qs are kind of right in the middle here. Nothing crazy. Nothing I'm really liking there. Spy, on the other hand, is kind of just chilling. Same thing. Spy is actually not doing anything. Nothing really there. Tesla might have potential here, although I don't really love it just because it was kind of a trend day yesterday. We got some supply up here. So yeah, we definitely want to see it move a little bit higher before I actually even look at entering that. Right now, the biggest top watch for me is probably going to be NVIDIA off of this demand zone. We still need to see some confirmation, but if we don't see that, then we're just not going to take a trade on that today. So we'll, we'll go ahead and wait and see if we get a push. Nice little push up, pull back for a move higher, probably up towards the supply area. But again, we got to wait and see some confirmation. We're not really seeing anything at the moment. Meta as well. Meta, I really like. We got to see it push a little bit higher though. Otherwise, not really going to do anything. Okay, so Meta starting to push up a little bit here. Again, we still want to see it break this high. We do have some supply up here which isn't ideal, but there is still an opportunity to scalp this move right here if we get a nice little setup. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait a little bit longer, get some confirmation again. We see this push up, we can definitely see a good move here. I'm gonna go ahead and look for the option that I'm gonna wanna be taking on my phone. I know I'm kinda weird, I like to trade off my phone, but we're gonna see if we can get a nice call option here. You can see I'm currently looking at the options chain here. We're gonna wait and see if we can get a good one. I'm looking at possibly the 427 and a half calls. I like getting the in the money calls, especially for these types of moves, just because you really don't want to get out of the money. In the money is the way to go. And so we're gonna wait and see if uh, we can get a nice setup here. But again, we gotta see price get above this 431 area. If not, then there's not gonna be any trade to take on this setup here. Okay, so meta pushing up here a little bit. We're gonna see if, just get, wait a little bit longer, see if we get that confirmation before we look to get in. And then we can get a nice little squeeze higher here. So just giving it one second, see if it wants to stay here, and we'll see if we can get it in. All right, so I'm gonna get a nice squeeze up here. I'm not in yet. I wanna see a pullback, see if I can get in long for a nice little scalp here. Stop is gonna be right below this low. We'll probably target up towards the supply, maybe a little bit lower if we get a good entry. Um, we're just gonna go in for a quick scalp, see if we can get filled here. Yeah, let me go ahead and see actually if I did get filled on that pullback. Okay, so we just go ahead and got filled on that. You can see we're at about five contracts here. Currently up like 70 bucks. Yeah, we're just gonna let this trade play out. We're gonna let it do its thing. Stop is gonna be below this low here. We're gonna like to target this purple level, then up towards uh, the supply zone here. Now, typically, it's a, this is actually a little bit of a lower risk reward than I would typically go for. Uh, this one's about one to one, a little bit over one to one, which works for the strategy. Typically, I'd actually would target all the way up here. However, because we have the supply in the way, I wanna be a little bit cautious, allow myself to take profit early. Um, and go from there. But what I'm gonna do now is actually set my OCOs, and this is honestly the best way for me to trade. I'm gonna set my stop loss, I'm gonna set my target, and I'm simply just gonna walk away, let it, let it do its thing. I'm gonna stay here and watch some other stocks, um, see if there's any other steps I wanna take, but this is how I like to trade. I like to get in, set my stop, set my target, and let the trade do its thing, and then we're just gonna go ahead and see if I make profit at the end of the day. That's it, I am like to keep it really simple, nothing crazy, no managing the trade, to be honest. Just really simple, just like that. And uh, we're going to see if this trade ends up working out or not. But we're going to go ahead and see if there's any good stocks, any good setups that we can watch. Tesla is looking not great. Google, don't really want to trade Google. And I'll keep you guys posted, but we'll see if there's anything. Amazon was a beautiful trade, actually. Went literally from line to line, um, even though we didn't end up trading it. But the opportunity was still there. AMD has potential as well. We're kind of bouncing from this, this demand area, although it's not fresh. But we'll keep an eye on it. I'll keep you guys posted. Yep, so not really seeing anything that I like. AMD is kind of doing its thing. Meta is kind of just chilling. Tesla potentially not really loving it though. Qs are actually starting to come up a little bit. Spy also just consolidating. Today's FOMC, so uh, I think later today there's actually not going to be a lot of action going on. I think a lot of people are waiting for that. It's going to be a little choppy. Um, but essentially, we're just going to wait and see 
what's going to go ahead and happen there. Now, meta's actually looking pretty good. Again, I'm just going to let it do its thing. Not really going to mess with it. AMD. And let me just look at the future side of things. I know, yeah, so like the futures, right? ES did end up hitting off this supply, right? This is an area I could have looked in to take short, or I could have looked short. But for me, right, that's actually not a good supply zone that I want to be taken, right? A better supply zone for me to want to be taken would be all the way up here, because this is where the move actually started, right? This is kind of like, you know, if price is coming all the way down here, we have this nice little pullback, then move lower. I really want to be taking the supply zone that forms all the way up here. The one that forms all the way up here, because this is ultimately going to be a better zone than the one that forms right here, which is in this example, right? So that's basically what I want to be doing. I don't know why it said verifying WhatsApp. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what we're working with here. Yeah, and that's just like one of the lessons you can learn. Like, for example, one of the rules that I like to have for myself is depending on the strategy I'm trading, of course, but like with SPY, this had a huge sell-off end of day. Let me go ahead and get rid of these levels. But there's a huge sell-off end of day right in this area here, right? And so for me, I don't necessarily want to be looking to get long today on SPY at this area. Okay, it doesn't really matter if there is, you know, a higher time frame demand down here because we have supply at this area, right? Now, what do I want to see is this, right? I want to see price, if it do bounce off demand, I want to see it come back above supply, then I can look for a pullback to go ahead and get long and then target higher, right? That's essentially what I'm looking for. That's what I want to trade when I'm doing these types of strategies. Something like Roku, we're coming down to this demand, it's kind of just choppy, still don't really want to mess with it. The thing is like everything kind of gapped down or had a huge push down at the end of the day yesterday, although today Amazon actually, but typically everything is kind of gapped down and that's kind of what I like to do. I can even look at my chat and say like, yeah, Gavin's in meta, Zach took him out. He's live right now. So it's all the same thing. AMD is not really doing much. It's like, yeah, we're coming off the support, but that's not my strategy. You know, I like to trade supply and demand or I'll trade TLM, which are these levels right here, which I don't really see um, where I can't trade TLM on AMD. All the levels are up here. So really just going to wait and let it do its thing and see if uh, meta ends up working out or I see any other setups. The thing with Amazon as well is because see how it's getting this kind of choppy area. Oh, I just got to hold on. Meta. Oh, I think I just got filled. I heard a notification. Let me see. Because I'm pretty sure I put it. Yeah, I must have gone filled. Well, it still says I'm in the position. I mean, that's how Tradier works. I don't know. I'm using a new account right now. But um, okay, I got filled. All right. So let me know if you guys can see that. So let me go ahead and make it bigger for you guys. Boom. Live account filled at 780 out at 920. You can see here ended up making about $700. Okay. Okay, so this Tradier brokerage is not the greatest. I wanted to just try it out new brokers, but this one's not good anyways. Show you on here. We finally got it to work. Oh, there we go. Up live, $700 on the account. Okay. Um, and you guys can see, I want to do a quick little recap of kind of what happened because it's still only 10.03. All right. We're literally 30 minutes into the market open um, and we ended up making $700. And so what I'm going to do is break that down for you guys and basically show you what happened. So I ended up trading Meta, as you guys know, you guys saw it live. Basically what I was looking for is this was a TLM setup. Now TLM is called triple line method. It's the exact strategy that I trade, that a lot of my students trade, and it works extremely well. And essentially it goes like this, right? We have these two black levels. We have this one purple level here. And you can see all I did was wait for price to start outside of these black levels come inside of these black levels. I got long right about here on this pullback as we pulled back to the level, put my stop below this low, and then targeted this uh, purple level up here slash this supply area all the way up here, okay? And you can see price ended up pushing right into there, ended up getting out. Now, what's really important here is not only the risk management side, because I know exactly how much I was risking on each trade, I knew exactly where my stop loss was gonna be, but the discipline and the importance to stay inside the trade and not micromanagement. Because as you guys saw, I literally got on the trade, set my stop, set my target, and then walked away. Everything was automated. Now, I didn't actually walk away, but I did just look at other stocks. I was looking for other setups. I didn't even take a look at Meta. I did not watch it one bit. Until I got the notification, I saw that I actually got filled on the actual setup. And you guys can see, I ended up making about $700 on the trade right there. And now we're actually pushing up towards my other level, which is the triple line method strategy. And the best part about all this too is if I pull up my community here, we actually had, Zach was one of our coaches, he actually live, he was actually live trading today. He hit meta, Gavin hit meta, and I believe, yeah, Tanner hit meta as well. And it's still early, it's only 30 minutes in a day, and we're just getting started, and all these guys are hitting the same trades as me when I'm not even giving them out any alerts. I'm not even giving these guys any alerts. Like, they all know exactly what to look for. They all know exactly what to do. And you can see they can make consistent profits. Zach at QQQ for TLM yesterday. Alex, same thing. Tanner, Raj, Isaac, 
uh, Alvin, A plus setup NVIDIA. Guys, like we can go back and forth and show you everything. We even had Jai, um, very profitable month, very consistent. And you guys can see that it works, right? If you have a strategy that works and you have consistent risk management, you will make profits. You will be consistent with it. And you can see, I literally did it today, a simple strategy step-by-step -step, just like this. If you guys want to learn exactly how to trade like this, what I've done is I've made a free training for you in the description below, okay? It's going to show you my three-phase system, show you exactly how all of this works so you can go ahead and trade it for yourself. So I highly recommend you check that out. And after watching the free training, if you guys are interested in learning more about how to join the Freedom Team and how all of this works, what you can do is hop on a call with our team. There'll be an option to do that after the free training. And then you'll see if you're a good fit, tell you everything about it, all of that good stuff, and then we'll get you set up. But nonetheless, guys, really solid day. One and done today. I'm not going to take any more trades. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and go with my account. You guys can see for the last time, $700. You guys can see for the last time, let me make myself a little bit bigger, $700 locked in right there on the account. Just one and done. I can even show you the actual fills. You can see 920, 780, just like that on Meta. It showed it live right in front of your eyes, okay? Um, I can do this all day, but I want you guys to see a real example of how I actually trade, and hopefully this video helps you out itself. So with that being said, go ahead and hit the link in the description. Watch my free training. Again, it's free. It's going to help you out a ton, and I'll show you how to trade like this. And other than that, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.